like, I want to say, like, roughly the second to last one, and that was the only one I've ever went to. Ah, uh, dude. That was, like, everyone's favorite tournament, bro. Yeah, a lot what happened, I remember. That was, like, I dominated the tournament. I was like, damn, man, I really came all the way from the a one e just to, like, go borderline. What was it? What was it held that by? It used to be, no, it was held by Fullerton. Fullerton. Yeah, I remember. The last one. Like, Cal State Fullerton. Bro, yeah, that was the tournament the, I commented. The play, the play that's, actually, that's actually where I commentated most of my game, most of my sets. It was, it was, um, it was Fire and Dice until I made the transition to back people to take my car pulls and then I got my car fixed and then I started driving myself. Yeah, like, my, my tournament history was I used to do land here. No, I used to, I started at KO Gaming Lounge. Bruh, <laughs> yo, shout out to the legend. <laughs> KO Gaming Lounge with a thousand dollar pop bonus with 13 hey, hey. entrants. And I'm him walking in out there with his money. <laughs> yo, man, that, I maybe had no reason to get a job at that point. <laughs> oh, God. That was I'm him paycheck, bro. That was literally his bank account. That was. Uh, unfortunately. They, they were ahead of their time. They were the first tournament to do 15. Yeah. Uh, 15, uh, 10, 10 U, 5 uh, entry. Uh, so controversial I just people, that Yeah, it, it was too, because it's like, well, I just tell people, look, real quick before we get into this match, if you're a TO and you're going to do $10. Yo, hold up. Lightspeed went far. Oh, yeah, he did. 97th, winner's quarters. Yeah. I know he's been putting in that work. Mm -hmm. Shout out. He's always asking to go to, like, fests. Yeah. Money matches. Like, I, I, I've seen him, man. Sometimes that work pays out. Unfortunately, that work will not pay out here. <laughs> He got four tilted and died. I just wanted to really finish my thought. Honestly, if you're a TO and you're going to do $10 venue, $5 entry, you have to make sure your venue is working. In my opinion. Yeah. Like, I know it's controversial, I know. Like, I don't want to tell you how to run your tournament, but like, if you're running in a very, very small local. Oh, dead. And you're charging $10 venue, $5 entry, and you have nothing to offer but the local itself and res, it's not worth it. Yeah. You got to be, you got to, you got to be economical, man. Not a lot of people have money. To be paying for that. Let's be real. A lot of the smashes are 19 and in college. 15 bucks really hurt. 15 bucks for me is like breakfast and dinner in my college dorm. <laughs> Facts. And that, if you're charging me that for one tournament, charge $10. $10, $5, then you $5 entry, and it works. Yeah. And a lot of people will come for that because it's economical. That's my that's my a little quote unquote for you guys. But 15, too much. Look at MSM, man. 15 bucks, free parking, free water, there's free snacks. Free snacks in an air-controlled venue, and there's literally an In-N-Out and there's like food options either on there. Yeah, Raceway that's has 15, but that's because they have. Oh, but you guys got like three-dollar drinks. Yeah, there's three-dollar happy hour. Yeah, there's like three-dollar happy hour. I know the food. I know Jerry told me like, the yeah, food options aren't too bad. Oh, no, yeah, they they have like wings and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Great bar food, dude. And it's and it's in a natural raceway. And it's got space. Yeah. So awesome. That's and, what, and like, you, race can, you can bet on horses if you feel like it. <laughs> yeah. So raceway is worth. You have to make sure your venue is oh, worth. Oh, I saw smash out of shield. If you charge a fifty, make sure your venue is worth. Mm -hmm. I apologize for not commenting on the match. I just want to give you guys my like, my opinion two on cents. that. My two cents on the whole fifteen dollar venue. I'm sorry, ten dollar venue, five dollar entry. Like, you come to WNF, it's worth it. Look at look at what you have to do and what you eat, yeah. the environment. You're paying for it. It's really worth it. But. If that's you have a really the rundown, e the esports lighting. Yeah, yeah, the esports lighting. <laughs> but if you're like in a small land center that's really, really small and like not that much space, I don't want to point any fingers here, but like make sure you're charging them proper. Ten dollars will make everybody happy. But let's go into game two here. The struggle taking it really well over Lightspeed. But shots like we mentioned earlier, oh. Lightspeed went far, man. Yeah, and Lightspeed's killing it right now. Like, like he, he's been he's been putting in the work, but. He's, I know he, his usual practice partner is YMCA. Yeah. Oh, I know he'll play with Rival every now and then, too. Yeah. So, like, I, I saw him at the uh, the Tyson House once, too. Yeah, he, he, he's, he wants to get better. Like, genuinely he wants to get better. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. It's a side special here. He takes the stock. Yeah, first stock, too. Like, he was he got rocked the first game. But like, it seems like he's adapting a bit better. Oh, my God. No, and that was good from Sparkle, too, because he wanted to time it. He wanted to time it for the yeah. end special from the board, and he knew what he had to go for. Yeah. You can also do that against Krom. Uh, it'd be more effective against Krom, too. Yeah. 
be really good though. He kind of knew what kind of edge guard, what type of edge guard he should be doing in five feet. Oh, nice up tilt to Nair. Oh, oh my this god. This damage, right speed. Land. Can you land? Oh, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Directional air dodge. Still able to come back though. He knows he was getting sauce. He doesn't want to get finished off just yet. Yeah, dude. Uh, really tough angle to recover, but he makes it back. Goes a little bit extra low to avoid the other Oh, up be out of shell, but that was a Ooh. very unsafe one. Yeah. Executes it a little bit too early, I would say. And honestly, yeah. like you said, when you're when you're down, you don't want to pay the, you don't want to use those like really risky options. Yeah, especially it was only at 31, so it wouldn't have killed him. That was a good run back from Mike. He kind of ran back, wanted to see how struggles when he had the shield, kind of poke him with down tilt. Oh man, actually putting in a lot of work on this percent. Oh, gets the cross up with the nair here, but no, oh, oh, no price man. to pay, but a stock loss and a handshake. Can you imagine like? Uh, that, that even looked like it was going to connect. No. <laughs> like, and that's, yeah, yeah, I hate to see it, man. Yeah, and that, I hate that, to see it. And that's